Thank you so much. I, I want to start by really thanking the county executive. It makes such a big difference to have a county executive willing to scrape together resources across the county and put them behind a important priority. And when we have a county executive who wants to take that on, we're going to start taking big steps. There is a lot of support here, and I really want to recognize the council president, Nancy Navarro, for her years of work on this issue. What has happened in the last few years is every single elected official in this room has said publicly, repeatedly, that early childhood education is a top priority. That is the difference in making progress and in spinning our wheels. So I am really confident we are going to make some progress now. Several years ago, we started adding money incrementally to the budget. We added several million dollars for MCPS to do full day Head Start. And it was amazing the way Jack Smith and MCPS turned that around and within months had opened a regional pre-K facility that now has hundreds of children getting full day care, fours and threes who are low income. Our MCPS team is phenomenal and they can turn around investments in high quality programs in a way that just is really spectacular. We've added money to uh, st subsidies so that private providers can expand their coverage and year after year we've made incremental investments. County Executive has announced seven million dollars in his budget. That is a big step and I challenge my colleagues on the council what's what's working let's add to that let's add to the county executive's commitment and I, and I say that in a friendly way because you know if we were just trying to add to a base budget which is what we've done in the past it's a much heavier lift so let's let's add five million on top of the county executive if we can um, but let's let's really just respect and appreciate the significance of of what you're, what we've heard today so Thank you. I look forward to working to continue to expand programs for our low-income fours, our low-income threes, and let's work our way one day for a sliding scale for universal pre-K, hopefully in the near future. But let's get all the low-income kids in this program ready to learn when they start kindergarten. Thank you so much. <laughs>